A lot of you seem to really enjoy the video about the normal command, so I thought I'd make another one about another underrated Vim command, and maybe even make this into a series if there's interest. Um, so this one is about the double bang, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. And what it lets you do is run a shell command and then insert the output of it back into your buffer. So let me jump in and show you some examples. Typically what I use this for is when I want to get the path of something on my system. Like for instance, the cargo package manager if you're a Rust fan. So in normal mode, um, I could type bang bang and then it pulls up this colon dot exclamation mark. And then I can type which cargo. And then you can see it inserts it right in there. Um, another one you can do sometimes is, I mean, I have a snippet that does date um, like that, but if you wanted like a Unix formatted date, you could do bang bang date. Um, and then, you know, pass in any kind of formatting options you want to be. And then another great case of it is if you want to run uh, some kind of file and then pipe the output back into the buffer. So let's say that I've got a little Python program, right? Like um, it's going to loop 10 times and then it's going to print out an F string. And in that F string, I'm actually going to have print and then I, and then, so I'm going to print out print. It's a little weird, I know, um, but it is what it is. And then what I can do is go bang, bang, and it takes me into this one shot shell mode. I'm going to go uh, level down, actually, um, so that I don't overwrite this. And then type Python 3, and then instead of typing up main.py, you can type percent sign, and that'll expand to the same thing. And then hit enter, and it'll actually insert the output of this program right down here. It's kind of a weird example, um, but I found myself doing this once in a while if I want to insert something and I don't really want to mess around with a macro or Vim script. You can just use Python to pipe it in. And you don't have to be in the same file, obviously. Like, I could open up another file, you know, called test.py. And then in here, I could type out bang bang python3 main.py. And then it would insert. I don't know why it also inserted that uh, those, those things. Maybe I accidentally printed an extra. Oh, because I have those print things at the bottom. Yeah, that checks out. Um, so yeah, that's a pretty interesting use case. There are a couple things to keep in mind with this, though. First one is, I don't know how to change this, but it'll overwrite whatever lines you've got. So then if I, if I do colon dot right there, and like, who am I with my um, cursor on it, it'll just write over it. Um, not ideal sometimes, but you can always just delete entire word and put it where you want it. Um, yeah, I'm not really using any crazy advanced shell stuff here. Um, I'm not a Unix chat enough yet for that, but maybe some people in the comments of this will have some ideas about what to do with this. You could set up crazy aliases and stuff. I wonder actually if you can output like a man page in here. Um, I do bang bang man um, curl. Yeah, you can. It looks horrible because it's a graph um, and the it's kind of in a weird format. But hey, if you wanted to. Um, but I, I know you could open man, like man curl, and then it would display properly. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you can do something with that. Um, yeah.